Welcome back to Rocket Tom Stock It and today we're going to look at the Adidas Young One. Alright guys, so we've got the uh, Adidas Young Ones in hand. Uh, we'll speak about uh, the design and inspiration first, then we'll go into the uh, details on the upper, midsole and outsole. Adidas have brought back a late 90s runner that, that was out. Um, it was called the Adidas Falcon Dorf. They've sort of redesigned it and brought it into 2018. And what they did was they took the Falcon Dorf silhouette, they've dressed it in premium materials or a bit more premium materials compared to what it was in. And they've removed a few of the um, Adidas logos that were planted on it. I think there was one on the, on the heel around on the midsole, there was one on the toe on the right, same place you'd see a mini swoosh. And I think there's some around here somewhere. So yeah, it was just a few few different logos dotted around Adidas logos. It wasn't the tree foil, it was the three stripes. And um, yeah, so they removed those and they thrown this nice little color blocked textured, different textured upper. So got a combination of the new book, combination of suede and a few other different materials. So they've turned a performance shoe into, in my opinion, a more of a lifestyle trainer. This will fit in nicely with current fashion trends and things like that. And generally, on foot, I think these, these are one of the best looking shoes on foot right now. The way they, they look on foot is amazing. And you'll see that on the on foot video after this. When I saw these first, uh, I was very excited, anticipating the release, and um, they have delivered. I think Adidas did a fantastic job bringing this pair. I think the last time I actually got excited about an Adidas pair, it was these. The Adidas EQT Support 90 or 91 17 something like that but yeah enough about these move on to the young one back to the young one so as well as using the uh, same upper designing from the Falcon Dorf they've also used the same design on the midsole from the classic trainer but um, with this EVA midsole we still have torsion worked into it so you still do get that same support in the trainer so it's just not a pretty looking shoe it's also got that um, level of comfort and support that you need in a, in a trainer like this so we'll have a better look at the, the suede so got suede worked around color blocked around the toe and the sides in this cream suede red suede and we've got blue here as well navy blue it worked all day around and then we've got details of cream mesh used on the toe. We got navy mesh used on the side panels um, just where the three stripes are. Then we've got uh, a mesh tongue. Majority of it is mesh, but they've got some suede detailing with the Adidas trefoil logo there. And got mesh worked on the heel. And in the inside, insole, we've got the Adidas logo as you'd usually see it and torsion branding on the outsole and there's a nice bit of grip there on the forefoot and on the heel as well nice little textured bit of grip so as a whole um, I'm thoroughly impressed by um, what Adidas have done with this shoe I think it's um, a good little comeback shoe to be honest I feel as though Adidas was, it's not dead per se, I think a lot of people are saying Adidas is dead, 
I think that it's fallen back into the niche that it originally was. It's a must have shoe, in my opinion. Um, if you're into your chunky retro runners, um, this is definitely a shoe you have to pick up. I mean, the midsole is pretty chunky, but when they uh, are on foot, they do look pretty clean. The shape on them comes together nicely and all together, they're pretty neat. So make sure you go half a size down. I did find that they fit a, a little too big, true to size. Um, I think that's mainly because of how wide they are. They're a bit wider there. So I went 7.5 in these, usually an eight. So they fit spot on. Retail price was uh, 100 pounds, which is more than reasonable in today's climate and pricing. So that's a good price point from Adidas there. And um, I think I got 20% off from ASOS, uh, thanks to my friend Tyrone for that. So I got these for 80 pounds, which is, I think, a more than reasonable price for this shoe. Right, one last thing about this shoe. I think it's the only, it's the only negative I could think of for this shoe. But I think Falcon Dwarf was a pretty sick name for a shoe. Falcon Dwarf. That is a name that should have been used. I don't know who thought of Young One as a name for this shoe. But I think um, Falcon Dwarf, the original, Surely you've been Falcon Dwarf implemented in the name somewhere, but Young One, nah, Young One ain't cool. <laughs> I don't know who thought of that, but the Adidas Young One, it's a sick trainer, but the name is, um... <coughs> if there's anything missing, let me know, drop a comment, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.